Hey guys, Victorian Garden here. So today I just have an update for you all to see and it is just a really small resin update. I've been working a lot lately so I haven't really had a lot of time to pour anything new and quite frankly I'm pretty much all out of resin. <laughs> so until I get my first paycheck I probably won't be doing any more resin. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and show you guys. Um, a few of these pieces you've already seen, but I just finally got the chance to finish them off or add bales or something. So here are these crackle earrings that I showed a few videos back. And, uh, let's see. Sorry, my lighting's like crazy. Okay, so here's what they look like. There we go. And they're just really pretty and shiny. The front and back have been domed. The back of them have been domed with just black resin. And I finally got the chance to put eye screws in them. And... Yeah, so... Finally made them into earrings. So, there they are. Alright, and uh, then these next few pieces... I. I don't know if I've shown them or not, but I'm going to show them anyways. So here is my candy one. I think I might have shown you guys. And of course the freaking Y is upside down. And the middle of this piece is orange and then the outer edges of it are a really pretty bright pink. It's got sprinkles and everything in it. And I put a brass bail on it just because I thought it kind of look good with the kind of gold undertones in the piece and then I just domed the back of this with a really pretty uh, kind of baby pink eyeshadow color but on here it looks really neon <laughs> and you can still see the letter beads but you can't feel them and then I just stuck the bail on it I love it even though the Y is upside down I still really like it Alright, so this next piece is a new one that I don't think you guys have seen, or at least not on video. So this piece is not finished. I haven't put a bale on it yet. But the front is finished. I domed it with resin, so it's really nice and clear. And inside it just says ice with a little heart, so it's like ice cream. And this one's got all kinds of stuff going on. It's got... Uh, Stickers, letter beads, sprinkles, um, these little swirl confettis, it's got iridescent heart confetti, and in the very back, I don't know if you can tell, I don't think the camera's going to pick it up, but in the back, it looks kind of chunky, like you can kind of see chunky stuff along the bottom. That is actually rock candy, and it's like cherry rock candy, so it's kind of red. So it blends in a little bit, but uh, I put rock candy in this just to kind of give like, you know that ice cream that has like the strawberry shortcake ice cream or whatever it's called, and it's got that weird kind of like crumbly texture on the outside of it? That's what this rock candy kind of does, and of course the camera won't pick up on it, but it looks like that in the background. It's got that kind of crumbly texture. And then the back of this, there's just some, a little bit of glitter in the middle. And the rest of it is this UV active uh, red and red orange color. So this piece, the back of it will actually glow under black light. And then I've also got this piece, which I'm not sure if I've shown before. But this is my yummy ice cream necklace. And it's just got some stickers, some letter beads. Oh, and by the way, all of these letter beads glow in the dark. Alright. So, this one just has some sprinkles in it. <clears throat> and then I put cellophane. Right. And then there's also some uh, peacock glitter in the background. So, it's got this really nice, pretty blue-green color to it. And it's on it. It's got a silver bale. The back of this piece has been domed with some UV active lime green color. So this piece will actually glow under black light. Alright, and I really, really like the way 
this one came out. It's got all the letters correct, and the background is just this gorgeous kind of water-looking aquamarine color. Alright, then lately, you guys know I've been going water marble crazy, so I did this big uh, heart necklace, and I did a plain uh, UV active orange red color heart, and I did it really thin, and then I just went back and did a water marble and dipped the whole heart into the marble. The front side, not the back side. And uh, that's just because this piece was a solid color. So I did the water marble on the front and then let it dry. And then I stuck this glow-in-the-dark tattoo over the top of it. So it's kind of translucent if you hold it up to the light and you can see the swirls through the butterfly. Which I think looks freaking awesome. Doesn't that look freaking awesome? Okay. So there's that piece, and I did dome this piece already, but the dome was so thin that I'm going to have to go back and redo it just because it didn't get all the way to the edges. I was like pouring the last bit of my resin, so I'm going to have to go back and redome this piece, and then I'll need to stick a bale on it. But other than that, I really like the way this piece came out, and it's got some of that bluish glitter that I love, right? So, I really like that one. And then, you guys have seen this piece before. It's my Crackle Zombie Cupcake. I finally stuck a bale on it, so it's finished. And then, some more of my water marble pieces. I think you guys have already seen these two. But, I'll just show you again. Here's this one. It's got like a flower shape. And the back of it. And the back of it was domed with... um pink glittery resin so that's why you can see the glitter through the translucent spaces alright so here's what the back looks like and I used I finally found a way to use these uh, ring bales uh, bales ring backs the ones that have the awkward oval shape so it works great it gives the ring a lot more support and the front of these have been domed and here's this one. It's just got like a purple and black uh, flower pattern to it. Alright, and it's kind of iridescent. And the back of it is just, just black. Okay. And this one is my absolute favorite. It's just got this kind of pink, black, and iridescent colored... Uh, I don't know. Zebra pattern? I don't know. It's not exactly zebra. It's just kind of like a weird crisscross pattern. <laughs> and then it's also very glittery and lime green. This one is actually UV active. So it'll glow under black light. Alright. And this one over here will glow under black light as well. And then finally I just poured a couple of chocolate bars. So I've got some chocolate chocolate ones and then one strawberry one. I had some leftover green resin from where I did this piece and this piece right here. So I actually made two green chocolate bar magnets. Uh, but those are on my refrigerator so I won't show them. <laughs> Alright guys, well I think that's everything. And I have 248 subscribers right now so thank you all so much for subscribing and watching my videos and commenting and rating and I appreciate every single one of you and um like I said before I'll be having a 250 subbies contest so as soon as I reach 250 I'm at 248 right now I will be posting a contest video as soon as I can so it'll probably be on one of my days off. I'm thinking I'll probably hit 250. If not today, then probably by probably by the middle of the week next week. So I'll try and post a video on one of my days off of work. So it'll probably be like Thursday or Friday, one of those two. 
Alright, so I will get more information out to you guys soon, and I hope you enjoyed watching, and thank you all so much for subscribing. So I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.